Hi everyone, it's Kathy, and welcome to today's Core Strong Workout. Today I have a fun one planned for you. Um, it's going to be a Metcon, and we're going to be doing a lot of different formatting. So you're going to do an EMOM, you might do an AMRAP, there's going to be some Tabata drills, um, a lot of different variety, all core driven, um, and a very sweaty one, I think, is in store for us. All right, so let's get ready. Oh, what you'll need is some hand weights. I've got some 12s and 15s here. I'm gonna be using some kettlebells for some of the exercises, so if you have a kettlebell, that would work good. And a stability ball if you have it, so nice round stability ball. And if you don't have the stability ball, there's no worries, I will show you modifications um, to get you through it. All right, so we're gonna start with a nice, strong warm up here. Roll the shoulders back, pull the belly in. We're gonna reach to the floor and press up. Reach and press. Reach and press. Just sink those hips down and up down and up. So your toes are slightly flared out, but they're more centered. Down and up, down and up. Good work. We're gonna add a little pulse at the bottom here. So it's pulse, pulse, press. Pulse, pulse, press. Good. Pulse, pulse, press. Start just feeling those legs starting to warm up. Those shoulders up, you got it. Down, down and up. Beautiful. Four more. Keep that chest strong. Three. I'm proud so that heart center is open. Two. Nice. So we're going to take this down, tap it out, down, tap it out. Down. Jack and tap. Nice and low. Take the jack out if you want to stay lower impact. Out and in. Head should be facing forward, booty back. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice work. Shake it out. We're going to go into a little shuffle with a jump shoot. You're going to shuffle it over, jump shoot. Shuffle, jump shoot. Good. Nice and easy. Adding a little explosive movement to your jump. Take it out if you don't want to. You can just rise onto those tiptoes. Smart. Good job, guys. Stay with me here. We're going four more. Three more. Two left. One here. Awesome. All right, we're going to come into a squat. You're going to bring both hands to one side of your body. You're going to take it down, reach it all the way to the other side. Squat, reach around. So it's kind of like a rainbow. Those hips back, rainbow up and over. Good. Squat as you come down to one side. Ugh. You're going to really feel those obliques firing up. Good. Stay with me here. We got, oh, I'm going to take it from eight, starting now. Eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, nice work, and one. They're going to give me a long jump. You're going to fast skate for four, then you're going to shuffle back. So it looks like this. Up. One, two, three, four. Shuffle back. Long jump, land soft. One, two, three, four. Shuffle back. Good job. One, two, three, four. Shuffle back. One, two, three, four. Shuffle back. Well, when you land, you're landing soft. One, two, three, four. Shuffle back. Nice work. Ha, landing soft. Shuffle back. Ha, two, three, four. Shuffle back. Up. Two, three, four. Shuffle back. Two more here. Shuffle back. One more. Up. Shuffle back. Meet me on the floor. We're going to come into a quick plank here. You're going to come into a plank position. You're going to give me two spider uh, uh, two uh, shoulder taps. 
So it'll be two shoulder taps, one spider each side. You're gonna jump in, you're gonna jump up. All right? Four sh two shoulders, two spiders, jump in, jump up. Here we go. Plank position to start us out. Here we go. One, two, one, two, jump it in, jump it up. Step it out. One, two, one, two, jump it in, jump it up. Good work. Come on. One, two, one, two, in, up. One, two, one, two. You got one more like this. Come on. Let me down. One, two, one, two. Jump it in. Beautiful. Shake it out. Last move. We're just going to go into some skater with a front press. So you're going to skate, push, skate, push, skate, push. Come on. All the way down up. Push. Yeah. Push it forward. Come on. Push through it. I want you to pick up your pace here. Push, 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 push. Keep going. Uh, 10 seconds. Come on. Push, 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 push. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Ha. Give me some nice strong circles forward. And take it back. Nice. Crisscross those arms. In and out. Breathe. Nice. All right, so let's go into an arm circle swing. Take it back. Good, grab those hands behind you. Lift and squash, press. Hinge forward. Good job. Come on up, step one leg back. Give me a nice reach over. Switch sides. Again. Ah, switch sides. Nice, come up, bring that back leg. Stretch it behind you. Give me a nice big stretch here. Nice, we're gonna switch sides. Give yourself a nice stretch. And let's switch. Good, one more time. And right here. Up. Nice work. Step it in, grab that foot behind you. Big stretch. Nice job, grab a nice inhale, exhale, grab some water. And we're gonna get started with our first sequencing here. So our first, I'm looking at the clock here. So our first sequencing is a six minute imam. So every minute on the minute, you're going to do three exercises. They're gonna be done in ladder format. You're gonna do two, you're gonna do four, and you're gonna do six. All right, so all the time that remains in that minute is your recovery, you're repeating this six full times. All right, so exercise number one is a man maker. So I'm gonna demo your man maker. If you don't wanna jump back, you can step back. So a man maker in motion looks like this. You're gonna be down, you're gonna jump back, you're gonna row one time on each side. You're gonna jump the feet in, you're gonna come up, you're gonna curl, and you're gonna press. You're gonna do two of those. Then you're gonna come center, you're gonna come down, you're gonna curl, you're gonna stand and lower four times. So it's a sumo curl, stand, lower, four of those. Then you're gonna drop one weight, pulse, pulse one, pulse, pulse two, jump switch. All right, so you got six of those, then you rest. All right, so play around with this. Go as heavy as you can for as long as you can. Two, four, six. Here we go. Starting my timer, remember, we're starting with your imams. You need to drop to your knees to do your plank rows. Drop to your knees. I'm going to go with 15s here. Time starts. Now, strong core, strong row. Do not rotate those hips. Pop it in. Curl and press. Cut. Good. Strong. All right, now you're gonna step out wide. You're gonna sink down, you're gonna curl, you're gonna stand one. Up, two, 
three. Here's four. Four. Nice work. Drop one weight. Pulse, pulse. One. Pulse, pulse. Two. Pulse, pulse. Three. Four. Five. Six. I've got 15 seconds left. So now you might be able to go a little bit faster now that you know the moves. Six seconds on the clock, grab your weights. Second round starts now. Form always comes first. You might be faster, you might be slower than me. One, two, booty back. Three, four, five, six. Awesome. 18 seconds, I went a tiny bit faster. Nice. So that was minute two. We're going into third minute which will take us halfway. All right, grab your weights. Here we go. Up. Curl and press. Now the heavier the weights you have, the more challenging this is gonna become, clearly. So I don't want you to opt out of easy weights. Form is most important. This is four. Drop it out. Pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Three, four, five, six. Nice. 16 seconds. Halfway. This should be manageable. So maybe you might have to drop down. Maybe you can only do two of the sumo curl and presses, or maybe one man maker. Change it up if you need to. Here we go. Up. Up. Uh. One exercise at a time. Come on. Stay focused. One. Needs to really watch your back here as you come up. Form needs to be really good. More. One. Two, head forward. Three, let the weight pull you. Four. Five. Six. Awesome. All right. 15 seconds. You guys are doing good. Man makers, here we go. Take it down. Oh. Come on, stay strong. with the kettlebell. Three. Hup. Oh, four. One. Hup. Two. Up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Rest it out. 13 seconds. Come on now. I think. This is your final round, I think. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Strong. Three, 
four. Woo, that catches you, doesn't it? One, two, three. Now, those of you who want an extra challenge, stay with us to the end. Six seconds. Six minute was done. All right, towel up, grab some water. I'm gonna, we're gonna switch gears here. Okay, let's towel off a bit here. Now, if you have a stability ball, I want you to grab it. We're gonna be doing some Tabata Inspire drills. You'll have four of them. You'll do three complete rounds. So it'll be like a six minute cardio. So you have 20 seconds, 10. Now I have a stability ball here. So if you have a stability ball, these are your four moves. You're gonna roll the ball onto the floor. You're gonna jump shoot. Now I don't want you to go too far here. All right, so if you can go all the way around, I want you to maybe roll it two or three times, pick it up and shoot. Roll it three, two or three times, pick it up and shoot. If you do not have a ball, you're going to shuffle, up, shuffle, and shoot. Okay, then we're going to go into a lunge twist each side. So it's lunge, uh, it's, it's a lunge hop and a twist. Hop, twist. You're twisting over the front leg, then you will switch. Again, if you don't have a ball, you'll just hop and rotate, okay? And then we're going to go into some plank knee drops. If you don't have a ball, you'll do these on your forearm, bending both knees, dropping them to the floor. Otherwise, you'll be on your ball, down and up. All right, so now you know what you need to do. 20 seconds on our clock, or 10 seconds to get us started. Make sure your weights are out of the way. Roll the ball, jump, shoot, roll the ball, jump, shoot. Remember, this is a Tabata, so it means all out effort. Here we go. Up. Got it. Love this. Nice. Okay. One foot back, so I'm gonna take my right leg back. I'm gonna lunge, hop, twist, lunge, hop, twist. Take the hop out if you don't want that impact. Hop. Good positioning, chest up. Back knee bent. So you're gonna feel this in. Those legs. 20 seconds happens to go by fast. And shake it out. Got the other side. Right, here we go. Remember you're twisting over the front leg. Hop, then twist. Hop, twist. Hop, twist. So when you give me that twist, I want you to follow the ball. All right, that's called tracking. You're gonna get a little more core this way. Maybe a little more instability. Maybe a bigger rotation. Awesome. Okay, your last move is a plank. And then you're getting up, you're gonna repeat that two more times. Forearm, plank on the floor without the ball. Here we go, heads in, bend, squeeze. Now, in your plank, your shoulders should be away from your ears. You shouldn't be down here. All right, so if you need to take it down there, I'd rather see you on the floor to get a better workout here. Hup. Come on. Beautiful. All right, going into round two of our ball roll, jump shoot. All right, here we go. Heads up, move it back. Explode up. Take the jump out if you need to. Okay, on top, twist. I start with my left leg back. Maybe going over my front right leg. Make sure that 
positioning is you're here and that you're not leaning into this. All right, so you want that head neck up, you want really good posture. Remember, track that ball. When you give me that hop, you're landing super soft. Awesome. All right, your switchy legs. Good posture, guys. Here we go. Hop over the front leg. Landing soft. You're in a nice low positioning here. So here's your level if you don't want to hop. All right, so just come up, down, twist. So you're twisting at the bottom portion. Ah, nice, okay. Woo, going into your planks. See how fast it goes by? On the floor, in a forearm knee drop. Remember, shoulders away from your ears. Abs are in, let's go. Drop, squeeze. So when you come, bring those knees up. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes. Up. Relax your shoulders. Concentrate on the move. Concentrate on the squeeze. After the drop, squeeze. Be mindful. You should start to feel this in your quads. Beautiful, you've got one more round. Your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes in that plank, as well as your abs. All right, let's take it to the other side. Let's go. Remember, it's a quick roll. So maybe one or two rolls. If you have the ball, over a quick shuffle with the shoot. Place your abs. It's your last and final round here. Awesome. Yikes. Left leg back. We're going to do that front leg. Hop and twist. Hop. on what you're doing. Mm. Nice work. Awesome. Switching sides. Take it back. Good positioning. Here we go. Small hop. Check it out on Amazon. Message me if you need to know more details on what size to get. Most of you are going to want a 65 centimeter. Woo, all right, going into your plank. And if you're extremely short, you'll probably want a 55 or even a 45, but I think 55 is for most. Here we go. If you're extremely tall, you might want even bigger. stretch. Go ahead and sit back. It's when we're sitting on it that it really does matter. Nice. So while you're recovering, I want to just give you an FYI of what to look for in a stability ball. So when you sit on a stability ball, you're sitting nice and upright. You want those knees to be in a 90 degree. So your heels are under your knees and you want this to be like this. If they're sloping down or they're coming up on you, Either the ball's too big, big or it's too small. All right, in the whole big scheme of things, like if we're doing it with what we're doing today, not a big deal. But if you're doing abs on it, you really need a better sized ball to fit your body. All right, put your ball away. Grab some water. We're going into a five minute AMRAP. You will have three moves. They are eight reps each and you will go through them at your pace until that five minute clock is up. All right, so I'm going to demo the three moves. Now, I'm going to be using a kettlebell for one of them, maybe two. One is a plank move. All right, so here's what we're going to be doing. You're going to go into a ground to overhead, which is a GTO, okay? So it's floor to sky. You can use one heavy weight. You can use a kettlebell. You can use a sandbag, whatever. So it's down, curl, and press. That's one. All right, you'll do eight reps of that. All right, then you're going to come into a squat rotating rainbow. 
So you're gonna squat, reach the weight all the way away from your body to the other side. Each time you tap down is eight. So it'll be eight, seven, six, okay? Now you can also use a kettlebell if you have one that you can manipulate. So it's down, reach across your body to the other side. I'm gonna start with a hand weight, maybe go to a kettlebell later on. And then you're gonna go into eight alternating spider hip drops. So be in a full plank position. You're gonna hip drop to the right, spider to the right. Hip drop to the left, spider to the left. Alternating sides eight times. Back up, eight GTOs. Eight rotating rainbow squats, eight hip drop spiders. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna put that timer on. All right, so follow me in the first round, then go into your own level. We've got a five minute AMRAP starting in 10 seconds. All right, ground overhead, pick your weight. I'm gonna be using a 20, then I'm gonna use a 12 for my rotating squats. Ground to overhead, floor to sky. Here we go, down and up, you got eight. One, two, gazes forward, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, I'm gonna swap out, feet shoulder width apart. Squat, reach across the body. One, two, three. You're holding the end of the weight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Weight down, spider, hip drop, spider, eight of them. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Pop it up, you're taking it from the top. You got eight ground overheads. If you need breaks, you take them. They're in your AMRAP, two, three, it's your, how you feel. Kettlebell, my 15 pounder. This one's rough, guys. Push away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hip drop, spider. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I'm gonna take a quick towel off. There's two minutes, 43 seconds left. Burn overhead. Up. One, two, Three, four, five, come on guys, push yourself. Six, seven, ha, eight, rainbows. Up, one, two, three. Remember, away from the ready, four, five, Dead body. Okay, spider. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two. Ha! Woo! All right, going into your next round. If you need water, take it. Oh, the sweat. Here we go. Minute 24. Come on. One. Two. Full range of motion. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
nice work, come on. Eight, I'm gonna go back down to my 12 pounder here. And my weights, I'm gonna start on the opposite side. One, two, come on, holding one end. Three, push it away. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight hip drop spiders. Come on. One, one, do not rush it. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Woo! All right, I've got 18 seconds. I'm gonna do three and three. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go three here. Three, two, and one, and time. Woo! So I think it was going close to four rounds. All right, so to make this harder, I probably should have done six minutes, right? Ah, hindsight's 20, 20. Ah, I'm feeling it though. Okay. Holla, grab some water. We're going back to the battle drills. Using our stability ball if you have it. We're going to do the same concept. Uh, four exercises. You will repeat them three sets. Oh, really sweaty here. All right, grab some water, towel off. Okay, this is very similar. Kind of a similar format. So you're gonna use your ball if you have it. If you don't, you don't need it. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a long jump, then you're gonna jump switch and long jump back. So here's what it looks like. All right, you're landing soft. All right, if you don't wanna jump, you'll jump switch, you'll turn around to the other side, okay? Then you're gonna go into eight, um, I'm sorry, skater presses for 20 seconds. So it's a skater push, skater. Push. You're pushing the ball forward or your hands. All right, then we're going to go into um, some, uh, let's see where we're at here. Fast feet drops. One, two, three, four. Actually, a fast feet press. One, two, three, four. Press. One, two, three, four. Press. And then we're going to take it to a stir the pot plank. All right, so if you are on the floor, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. Otherwise, you're here. You're going to stir the pot to the right. You're going to stir the pot to the left. If you do not have a ball, I want you to give me a body saw. So body's in a straight line, you're gonna push forward, push back, but when you push forward, you're not sinking in. Up, back, so you're flexing your feet. All right, so that's your option if you do not have a stir of the pot, if you're not of a ball. All right, 20 seconds of each move. I'm putting my 10 second timer on to get us ready. Long jump, jump switch, stability ball, if you have it. Landing soft, here we go. with the direction you jump switch. So maybe you'll go right, right. Now left, left. Ah, okay. Oh, that was kind of hard. Skater, pushing forward. Are ready? Three, two, one. Skate, push. Skate, push. Skate, push. Nice. Push it forward. Like you're tossing it to someone in front of you. Fully extend those arms. Awesome. Okay, fast feet. Press overhead every four. Inhale, exhale. And then you've got your plank. Stir the pots. Low. One, two, three, four. 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 Keep moving those feet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, legs through the pot. I'm gonna do this head on. So you can see my positioning here. Core strong, shoulders relaxed. 
Right side, left side, here we go. Too hard? And you have a stability ball, just hold your plank. All right? You can do these on your knees. All right? If you're gonna do them on your knees, I don't want you here. So you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna rotate, you're gonna rotate. All right? Up and at them. Round two. You always have options, but you guys gotta play with your envelope, okay? That means you gotta push yourself. All right, long jump, jump, switch. Here we go. I'm gonna turn to the left. Whew, I'm gonna turn to the left. Now I'm gonna do the right. I'm gonna go back to the right. And soft left. Right. Ooh, it's a rough. Skater press. Heart rate should be booming. That is the whole concept behind this vata. All that effort. Here we go. Push. 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 Low. Explode. Woo! All right, I did something you gotta really be careful of. Stepping on your weights. Roll an ankle and you're out. Come on. Woo! Let's be pressed. Be wide. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just keep those loose knees going. Get them out. Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Abs are in. Come on, four seconds. Plank on deck. Oh. High right. Crazy. Plank your way. Hold. Saw. Circles. Here we go. Do not let yourself collapse. Brace. The circle does not have to be big, and it may not even be circular. It may be like a diamond or a triangle. Woo, all right. Let's do final for now. I'm gonna make sure these weights are out of the way. We've got our long jump, jump shoot, or step jump switch, or step. Come on, pull your feet. Remember, either alternate sides that you turn, or do left, left, right, right, like me, right, right, left, oh, thank God, holding onto that ball makes it harder, skater press, let's go. Push through it. So a regular Tabata, we would have been already done. What's the fun in that? Let's go. Uh, yeah, speed press. Really shake those legs, guys. Get into a nice rhythm. Get low if you can. One, two, three, four. Faces forward. Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My legs. My heart. Swim pot. Keep that booty down. Drop your knees if you need to. Your last round. Dig. Those elbows in. Head neck here. You're shredding. Don't you love that app? That word shredding. Oh, this was good. Felt every inch of it. Woo! All right, let's just go into a quick stretch. Take it to the side. All right. That was rock star quality, guys. All right, so here is your final 
finishing hurrah. Let's grab some water first and then I'll explain it. Go into my dripping. Okay, this is six minutes. All right, so what we got here, let me just stop this timer. You are going to have six reps of four exercises. They are all uh, a little bit of strength, but all core related. All right, so let's go into my six minute uh, AMRAP. So again, AMRAP, as many reps as possible. So as many as you can get in in that six minutes. So you're gonna come into a push up, uh, full body or not. You're gonna have one weight or a kettlebell nearby. And I'm just gonna have, um, I think I'll have my 20, okay? Cause we're not lifting it overhead or doing anything wonky with it, okay? So you're gonna do six push ups. And I also have a free weight here. So your six push ups can be either modified or on your on full body. Now, if you're modifying that booty's down, all right? Hands are fingertips facing forward. Full body straight down, straight up six times. All right, from there, you are gonna go into uh, six spider switches. Level one, it's switch like this. Level two, you bring one foot up, switch one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna turn onto your back. Your feet are gonna be at one end of your kettlebell or weight. They can be six rainbow. Uh, abs. So it's one, one, two, two. Okay, soften the knees, bend them if you need to. And then you're going to go into six heel taps. So over that weight or over that kettlebell six times, tapping your heel. Then you're going to grab it. You're just going to give me six long lever sit ups. Six times. Then you're going to take it from the top. It's an arm wrap so that if you go at your own pace, take breaks as you need it, your last and final sequence. All right? Your 10 second uh, set to get you ready. Have your towel nearby if you need it. This is on your pace. Maybe you wanna give me three full body, three modifieds, up to you. Here we go, six push ups. Nice work, all right. And you've got your spider switches, either step or switch. One, two, three, four. Five, six. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Separate them out. One, two, click those heels together. Three, there's no place like home. Four, five, Six, pick up your weight. Six sit-ups. Long lever, six. The weight is not resting on you. Two elbows by your side. Three. Four. Five. And six. Back to your push-ups. Your way. Your switches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rainbows. Now maybe six is too much for you. Maybe you only want to do four. One, one. Maybe you want to do this. Two, three. All right, so that works. Four, five, six. Those are rough. Right, heel taps. Flex your feet out so you're working those inner thighs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Long lever sit ups. Come on. Now, if you need to soften your knees, soften your knees. One, up, two. Push that belly in. Slowly row back. Three, four, five. Three minutes, 33 seconds. Keep going at your pace, guys. Come on, head neck neutral. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Woo, those spider switches, I forgot about them. Hi, here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo. Bend the knees. You need it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feel my quads today. All right. Here we go, flex the heels out. Six, six, five, four, bring them up. Three, up, two, up, one, sit up. Woo, here we go. Long lover if you can. Now, I'm telling you long lover, so if you need to soften your knees, this is just gonna make it just a little bit better on your spine if you need it. Get rid of the hand, the kettlebell, if it's too much for you. All right, keep going guys, you do you. I'm just gonna say this was my sixth one, even though it wasn't. All right, two minutes, seven seconds left. Keep moving. Ah, push ups. Mm. Woo! Spiders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you get that full range of motion. One. Two, three, use those abs. Four, five, six. Oh, flex, here we go. Yeah, inner thigh open. Six, five, bring them up higher. Four, up, three, up, two, up, four. Sit ups. Long lever if you can. So articulate. You're just doing a slow roll up, slow roll down. Two, three, four, five, oh, six. Woo, push ups. Come on, you've got 51 seconds. Try to see if you can get all of this in. Ah, let's go. Six, five, four. I'm pushing my body. Three. Two, one, spider. Woo! One, two, woo. three, four, five, six. Ah, I slipped. Let's go. One, two, up, three, four, five, woo! Six. Oh my god, my abs are burning. Six, five, four, three, two. Woo, 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna finish right now, time is up, and six. Oh, that was rough, yes? How'd you feel? Right now you're saying good, right? Woo, let's roll into some shoulder rolls here. Love it. Come on, push. Good. Now let's take those arms forward. Four, three, two, one. Interlace those hands. Press forward. Now I just want you to hinge from your hips. Flex your feet. Just hinge. Keep your head forward. Awesome. Just hold it here. Tuck your chin. Let your head come down to keep those arms centered. Nice, so bring those arms all the way up overhead. Grab both elbows, pull them back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Uh, now I want you to rotate to the right, and I want you just to turn, uh, rotating from your torso. Look at your back elbow. Center. Same thing, slow. From that torso. Perfect, all right. Coming back to center, press one leg over the other. Drag that heel up in towards you until you cannot go any further. Drag, 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 hold it. Now hinge forward into this. You should feel an enormous tug coming up the back of your hamstring. Oh. Follow 
rolling up this with a foam roller would be ideal, guys, if you can. Good, hinge and hold it. Now, extend that bottom leg, take your hand underneath that leg, shin, and just hold it here, lift. Again, try to just kind of hinge slightly forward. Nice, now bring that foot entirely on the floor. Take the uh, uh, opposite hand, rotate it across, look over that back shoulder, spinal twist. Beautiful, awesome. Okay, come back to center, release it. We're gonna do the exact same thing, other side. Figure four here, cross it over. Drag that heel in till you can't go any further. Ah, you're gonna notice a difference from one side to the other. One side might be more painful. Maybe you can come in a little deeper on one side, not the other. You're always tighter on one side. Hinge forward, slightly stretch unilaterally. Nice work. All right, extend that bottom leg. Take the top leg, hug it into your hands, hold it into your, just cradle it. And now lean slightly forward one last time. And then just plop that foot onto the floor. Sit up super tall, rotate across, look at your back shoulder. Imagine that your torso is a washcloth and that you're wringing it. Perfect, all right, coming back to center, you're gonna take a nice uh, wide stance with your feet. We're gonna walk ourselves forward and come into a little uh, mobility squat here. I want you to hold, I want you to push your elbows into your knees, give yourself a little heart center, I want you to glide side to side. Good, just glide it out, nice. Perfect. So put a little uh, emphasis on those elbows to kind of push into those inner thigh brain area. Good. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to the floor, hike your hips to the sky. Nice, pull that body in half. Bring your left hand up, rotate towards the sky. Excellent, bring that hand down, swap to the other side. Try to get your wrist, shoulder, elbow in the same plane of motion. Bring that hand down. And now I want you to slowly articulate and pull belly in. As you come up, I want you to roll your shoulders up towards your ear, retract them back again. Up and roll. Up and roll, two more. Good, one more. And let's take them a little bit faster. Imagine you're tracing a circle with your elbows. Four, three, two, one. Fingertips lightly behind your ears. I want you to slightly elevate the chin towards the sky. Feel an expansion in your chest. Ah, now roll forward, look down at the floor. Elbows come towards each other and open. In and open. Last and final. Hold here. Extend those arms back. Open up that heart center. Feel the stretch going into your chest. Grab the hands behind you. Quick hip hinge forward. As you rise up, you're just going to go into four knee hugs. Three, two, and one. Step it out. You've got two inhales. Uh, exhale deep. Nice. Come into your heart center. Step in, lower down, give yourself a round. All right, that was a great workout for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Message me, let me know how you did. I think it's something we're gonna revisit. Maybe we'll add on to the imams. Instead of a six minute, we'll do an eight minute. Instead of a five minute, we'll do a six minute. Instead of a six minute, we'll do a seven minute. So it's something that we can revisit down the road and see how our endurance and how our strength gets um, and the power that we have in us, all right? Hope you have a great workout. Um, stay well. Uh, take some protein, rest, recovery. This is a high intensity workout. So you want to follow this up with maybe a lower key workout, a core, a walk, a swim, something like that. Not so intense, okay? I will see you on our next course during workout. Until then, take care. Bye.